The NCAA football season kicks off this week, and Z Code System has got you covered. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Z Code System video. Today, we're going to talk a NCAA football 2019 season and a few of the things to look out for this year. Go over to the Z Code System blog and check out our sports predictions. You might find a few NCAA football predictions up there later this week, as well as some NFL information coming up, some NFL picks for preseason, as well as other sports such as baseball and soccer going on over in Europe. So guys, go over to the Z Code, the Z -Code System blog, check those things out, read up, and get your free picks and predictions. And don't forget to sign up to the VIP club. Now, before we get started talking a little bit about the NCAA football 2019 season, let me just turn your attention to the latest Z Code System podcast. The latest Z Code System podcast talks to Justin, who is giving out some information, tips, and other things about his portfolio of hand picked automated systems to help you win with your sports betting. So I advise you to go to the website and to find that podcast, click on that, and to listen up to Justin. It's about 40 minutes of great insider information from him, and he will give you some excellent tips on his hand-picked automated systems portfolio. So do that before you wager on your football or your soccer or your baseball this weekend. Now, guys, let's get over to that NCAA football preview I was talking about just a little bit ago. So the NCAA 2019 season is coming up, and we're going to look at a few things that you should look out for this year. Now, of course, Clemson come into the season as the reigning national champions after beating the Alabama Crimson Tide last season in the national title game. As you know, as you should know, as an NCAA football better, that we are seeing trends right now in NCAA with the national titles. Alabama and Clemson have split the last four titles with two apiece. Only three teams have won the NCAA title in football since this new title game format has come about uh, starting in 2014. As you can see there with the Ohio State Buckeyes winning that first year. And then Alabama and Clemson have just traded places over these last two years. So Clemson comes into this season, 2019, as the number one team in the nation, Alabama. Of course, they're number two. So these two teams perhaps will flip-flop back and forth. Will they lose during the regular season? Yeah, wait, they might slip up once. Uh, but will these two teams be in that national title game again? Well, it's a good bet that one of these two teams, if not both, will be back in that national title game. These are almost professional programs right now. Uh, at uh, Alabama and Clemson. And it's just going to be how, especially with Clemson, how their quarterback situation uh, holds up during this season as we go on and uh, we kick off the year this week. So the odds going into the NF, uh, the NCAA season, that is, uh, these are futures to win the national championship. As you can see, the Clemson Tigers plus 225 to win that. And as I said before, reigning champions and number one in the nation right now, Alabama plus 250, and as you can see as we go down, teams start to fall off uh, in the odds with Georgia Bulldogs coming in at plus 1,000, and uh, the top six there uh, in teams going for the national title, and uh, you know we see these traditional favorites every year. Will a team outside this uh, top six be fighting for the national title towards the end of the season? I really doubt it because uh, these teams seem to be there or thereabout every season. Uh, will we see uh, another team get in there or a, an unlikely upset? I'm not really sure about that. And as I said before, I really like those top two teams there, Clemson and Alabama, to, to be in that national title hunt again uh, this coming season. Now, who has the toughest schedule this year in NCAA football? In the 2019 season, well, I can tell you this right now. Those six teams I just showed you previously featuring Alabama, uh, Clemson, Ohio State, Oklahoma. Well, those teams, they have uh, you know a relatively moderate schedule, but it's Michigan who has qualified for having one of the top five most difficult schedules this season. As you can see, Middle Tennessee, Army, uh, bye week, Wisconsin. That's where we get really difficult there for Michigan. Rutgers, Iowa, that 
Big 12 or uh, that Big 10, excuse me, uh, conference turn, uh, conference schedule is going to be very, very difficult for them. And you can see Notre Dame is also on there. And that those last three games are going to be incredibly difficult for Michigan, uh, Michigan State, Indiana, and Ohio State at home. So a top five most difficult schedule there. And if you look at some of the other top five schedules, I was looking on Bleacher Report earlier today. They ranked the top 10 most difficult schedules, and you will not see any of those other six uh, teams with the highest odds to win the national championship in there uh, in the top 10 most difficult schedules, except for Michigan. So uh, I think we can maybe count Michigan out of winning that national title and uh, focus more on those other 10 teams as we put our futures bets down for a national champion in 19 in uh, 2019 20. So, who will win the football national championship? Is it going to be Clemson or Alabama because again, these are the two teams that are 1 and 2 right now. And these are the two teams I think will be there or there about again. Again, these two teams have split the national title over the last 4 seasons with two wins apiece and you know, right now without seeing them play, I really can't uh, tell you who I would put my money behind. But if I'm going to go on history and on trends, I'm going to go with the Alabama Crimson Tide because uh, they flip-flop every year. Clemson won it last year. So by default on this trend, Alabama is going to win it this season. So for me, if I'm putting my futures bet down right now, I'm going with the Alabama Crimson Tide to win the national title in NCAA football this year. So, guys, good luck with your sports betting on your NCAA football this weekend for week one of the big season. And don't forget to get those futures bets in. I'm backing Alabama, and uh, I think you should too. But we'll see how that plays out with the national championship game coming up next January. Guys, good luck this weekend. Bye for now from Z Code System, and good luck.